Hello, good morning everybody. It's Wendy here and it is a great miserable day here in Narbeth, Pembrokeshire, Wales. So I thought, okay, let's beat the grey weather, beat the... I was going to say beat the blues, but it's not blues grey, so then, uh, but I, then I am colour blind, so you know. Uh, so I thought I would make a happy card with... Um, these are on the flower suites um, on in the um, I think it's in the first few pages of the Stumping Up catalogue, and there's loads of beautiful papers. There's another one. There's another one. Plenty of papers, bright and happy papers, to um, get you over this miserable, gloomy sort of uh, day. Right. Uh, first of all, I'm going to do. A, some stamping, uh, so that's got time to dry. Right, this is going to be my little sentiment strip. Uh, where have I put? Oh, there. And where's? Ah, try and line that up as best I can. I am using also. Sorry, it's the wrong way round. I am also using this sentiment here. You are loved. And I'm going to be using this little um, little blue sunflower there. Right, so first of all, I'm going to use stamp. Sorry, stamp, use stamp, stamp. I'm going to stamp the sentiment. And if I... This is just a scrap piece of paper, but if I... Put it right way. Do it this way round then no, that's got a dirty bit, so I won't do that side. Um Yeah, that'll be it. And then if I want to use it again, that's all I need to do is cut it out. Again, I'm not using my mat because they've got little spongy mats of their own. Oh look, that's beautiful, didn't it? See they've got little spongy mats there. Which is very handy, right? I should put that somewhere safe. I'll put it on my block box for now. Um, and what I'm using for the sentiment and the inside of the card, the sentiment strip and the inside of the card, I'm using shimmery white. I don't think you'll be able to pick it up from, um, from what I've just showed you. This beautiful paper, it's got like a, I don't know what you've called it actually, but it, it's, it's shiny, but no, it's not, it's not showing up in the light, but it's got little, little flecks in it, because I've been waffling on, I've just huffed on my stamp, just to make sure that the ink is okay, right, this is going to be, so sort of here, there, I'm lining the Right, I'm lining the sides up to try and get it equal both sides. Just leave it there for a bit so that the ink can make its mark on the paper. And there we are. I think it's a bit squiff, but uh, it is early in the morning. Right, so I'm going to take that, wash that, put that over there. And where's my other one gone? Ah, there you are. There you are, let it be. Right, and I've got, where is the middle? Oh, I just had that in my hand, didn't I? Oh, what a Wally Wendy. Oh, this is done for a bit. Oh. Right. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to put, I'm going to cut them to size, but, oh, no, look, that was already cut. Oh, it's clever of me. Oh, I know what I did, yeah. Because when I cut the, the paper out then uh, it's I obviously cut one side first and then the other side and then oh well the other side if you know what I mean right I'm just lining these up now because I don't really want to get oops I don't really want to get my guillotine out and I will just oh look that's pretty Look, I'm going to put that over there because I'm sure I've got, I would have use for that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put one there and 
one there. Right, where's my, uh, I might as well do these now while I'm here, isn't I? <coughs> uh, as you can see underneath, um, underneath my work surface, I have decided to put a piece of card there so that I can tell, or it, it can show me rather, where I am, so I don't go out of shot. Well, that's the theory behind it, but whether it'll work, I don't know. But I thought, well, I'll give it a go. I mean, yellow is just a beautiful... I mean, my favourite colour is purple, but yellow is really starting to creep up there within um, towards the favourite colour also. There we are. Now I've got two there. I'm going to put this little sunflower... Good stamping. Yeah, which side do I want it on? That way or that way? Mm. I'll put it laying down ways. Here we go. Beautiful stamp. Absolutely beautiful. This set is just such a happy set. Here we are now. I think that is all the stamping done. Let me get my um, my uh, pens. Oops. Oh. Just dropped something around the back of Beyond, but there we are. Right. What I decided to do was, if I can find the other ones, they should be a little bit of go. I suddenly realised that I haven't got Bumblebee um, blends. Oh dear. I'm so, so thirsty this morning. Right, so I'm using my favourite, Old Olive. I'm just going to... What have you all got planned today? I hope whatever it is, you, you're going to have fun and stay safe. Yes, Old Olive is the one I go to. And I found that a lot of people, oops, a lot of people have said the same. I'm going to put, put, put a bit of light. <coughs> now the dark. Now, the designers of these stamps... All of the stamping up stamps, they are absolutely incredible because you can see where the, where the, um, oh, what's it called? Um, it's not shadowing, it was something else I was thinking of. Uh, um, oh dear, I can't think this morning. Crosshatch, that's the word I was looking for. They put cross hatchings and little sweeps, and then um, this will help us then know where the. I'm going to use the big one now. The um, the brush tip rather, not the big one, so that it doesn't take me forever to. Um, with a couple of swipes, it will be done. Well, where are you all going to today then? I hope you've got something nice to do. And of course, being Sunday, you've got to have a Sunday dinner, haven't you, as well? Well, I'm cheating a bit today because I've got uh, these ready meals and it's Yorkshire pudding with beef in it. So you get the big Yorkshire pudding and inside then you've got the beef and the vegetables um, and vegetables and potatoes. So I'm going to give that a go today. It's a microwavable one so it's, uh, it's quick and easy for me to do because that's the only thing I can do at the moment is quick and easy. Just 
but I just don't do this because putting the card together isn't going to take very long. Now, what I've decided to do, because I, I love this paper so much, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, um, or what I am doing rather, I'm making a 6x6 six six card, as you can see from here. Uh, the measurements are, well, obviously, I cut the piece of a, a no, not A4, Wendy. I cut a piece of 12x12 12 12 in half and scored it in half to give me my 6x6 um, my six six cards. Doesn't look like it's made a difference, but uh, it has with the dark one and then I put the light one over the top to blend it all together again I'm going to use the tip Just be careful when you do um, colouring these colours these in, in because what happens is that it it can bleed uh, the ink can bleed and go outside the line but stamping up we've got a wonderful thing called a colour lifter and once the um, the area is dry I think it is I think once it's dry you can put the colour lifter over and um, push it back in right the middle there no I haven't got another one out so um, blah 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 Plum, 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 plum. Did I even get the orange either? Oh. oh well, one thing to do. I'm going to use the. This is so saffron. I thought it was definitely light, but uh, no, it's saffron. And I'm just going to give it one coat now. It doesn't matter if you go outside the light here because you're just making those areas darker, which um, which won't matter. Right, so that's the inside done. Where's my card? Got? Ah, there we are. Now, check that the card is, is the right way around. I'm only saying that because I have been known to do it the wrong way around and um, I've been very fortunate that when I do it... <laughs> The ones I've done, it doesn't matter the upside down if you know what I mean. Oops. Put this on. Now, oh, that's what I started saying, wasn't it? Uh, the card is six by six. And what I do like to do, I like to um, give it a little bit of like a quarter of an inch border. So... Card six by six, first mat is five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And the topper, which is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful paper, is again a quarter of an inch. So the paper, this top piece now is um four sorry no five by five five six by six five and three quarter by five and three quarter five and a half that's what that is right i'm going to get the sentiment hopefully it's dried and i haven't splodged it i think splodge is a good word for this time of the morning i've been up so many hours so uh, if i see splodge it's going to be a splodge today oops here we are. No, I know I've forgotten something else. My dimensionals. Right. You turn this upside down. Give it a press. Uh, if this is going in the cards... Uh, sorry, no. If this is going in the post, then it is best to stick... That's where they go on. Uh, Best to put as many dimensionals as you can without it looking really silly. Um, because that'll stop... Ah! <laughs> Sticking to me this morning. Uh, 
yeah, it'll stop because I know they've got to go through all these machines, haven't they? So I don't know whether any of the machines are a squasher. But um, we're doing it like this, then. Uh, but putting plenty on, you won't get squashed. Once again, checking the card is the right way round. And obviously, <laughs> putting the sentiment on. So I'm going to put it now in this corner here. So I don't cover up the beautiful cards. Oh, that's lovely. Right. Now I'm going to bring back my um, my insert. It does, uh, they do the blends, they do leak. Uh, it's not leak, they seep. They seep through. I think this, this glue is coming to an end, I think. Yeah. Oof. Right, so I'm going to line this up because this is also five and three quarters. By five and three quarters. Here we are. I'm going to turn it over. Give it a press. And there we are. A lovely, bright, sunny day, sunny day card. And uh, let's hope it brightens your day. If you like it, um, please tell your friends and... Uh, Ask them to subscribe also and then I can uh, bring you some more beautiful cards like this. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Have a great Sunday.